China's Sinopharm COVID vaccine has won approval from the World Health Organization for emergency use. The UN Health Watchdog said the vaccine had an estimated efficacy rate of nearly 80 percent for all age groups. The decision by the WHO also allows the vaccine to be included in the COVAX program, and that's the global mechanism to provide vaccines mainly for less developed countries. Tony Waterman reports. The announcement was short and to the point. WHO gave emergency use listing to Sinopharm Beijing's COVID-19 vaccine. But the World Health Organization's decision to back the Sinopharm vaccine could mark the tipping point in the global rollout of Chinese jabs. It's a signal to national regulators, who often take their cues from the WHO, that the vaccine is safe and effective. This expands the list of vaccines that COVAX can buy and gives countries confidence to expedite their own regulatory approval and to import and administer a vaccine. The WHO found Sinopharm reduced cases of severe or symptomatic disease by 79 percent and is recommending its use in adults 18 and older. Approval of the jab also means Sinopharm can join the COVAX facility, the global program to bring vaccines to mainly low-income countries. It's been facing a vaccine shortage as some rich nations hoard doses and impose export bans. Sinopharm could help ease these supply bottlenecks and speed up deliveries, especially in countries suffering from devastating third waves like India and Brazil. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, China has always insisted that vaccines are first and foremost a global public good. We will continue to support all efforts that will help developing countries obtain timely and equitable access to vaccines. China says it expects to produce more than 3 billion vaccine doses this year. While Sinopharm is the first Chinese vaccine to get approval from the WHO, it may not be the last. Earlier this week, the health regulator began its review of the Sinovac jab. A decision could come as early as next week. Both Sinopharm and Sinovac have been exported to more than 40 countries, but approval from the top could make them even more widespread. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Brussels. For more on that, let's cross live to our reporter Feng Yilei in Beijing. She's been following this very closely. So Yilei, that's the WHO approval for the Sinopharm vaccine. What's the reaction from Sinopharm? Well, first of all, the approval is a WHO backing that the vaccine has met international standards as some in other parts of the world have been questioning the Chinese COVID vaccine of its performance. It assesses quality, safety, uh, efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, as well as the risk management plans and pro programmatic uh, suitability, uh, such as cold chain requirements. The announcement not only represents vaccine research and development capacity of a company or a country, but also a allows other countries, especially developing one, to expedite their own regulatory approval to import and administer COVID, Chinese COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, head of Sinopharm CNBG said they, prepare, they have prepared for uh, the country's promise to make Chinese COVID-19 vaccine as a global public good. The approval shows the international community recognizes that research and development in the production and safety of our inactivated COVID-19 vaccines are in line with international standards. Most importantly, after the WHO's approval, our vaccines will be able to contribute more to the global fight against the pandemic as the vaccines enter the global procurement and supply system. And earlier, I also talked to Xiao Yiming, a Chinese CDC expert on the National Vaccine R&D Task Force. He said the Chinese vaccine features good accessibility and low side effects, which will benefit developing countries particularly. And the reason that the assessment took such a long time, he said, is because uh, it is a continual process, including answering questions and updating data. I also wonder why uh, for the China vaccine, why it's so slow, and for other countries, uh, are much faster. Uh, because the world are really needing the vaccine, like uh, African, until now, it's only a few percentage of their, or even many countries, less than 1% of their uh, people. 
receives the vaccine. Uh, I do hope uh, after the first one and the other vaccine, not only from China, from all other countries, if they met the standard, uh, international standards, they should all be faster. So basically it means not just the manufacturer, but uh, uh, the recipient should, also, should all be more efficient. And besides, though the WHO said earlier that uh, uh, the uh, efficacy of the jab could not be estimated among people over 60 years old, uh, it did not recommend an upper age limit for the vaccine, saying that the preliminary data and supportive immunogenicity data suggest that vaccine is likely to have a protective effect uh, among the, the elderly. And given that uh, the US FDA and uh, EMA in Europe have all sped up the regulatory uh, approval process, uh, the expert also added that he hoped uh, the WHO could do the same. And, uh, well, Eli, as Tony Waterman just reported, the WHO is uh, close to make a decision on another Chinese vaccine, that's the one from Sinovac. Tell us more about that. Right, indeed. Uh, despite some delays, the WHO has already announced a Sinovac coronavac to be safe and effective, which is believed to uh, believed to have laid the groundwork for an EUL approval. And the final decision is very likely to come up next week. Given that countries like India have restricted, re restricted uh, COVID-19 vaccine exports to address their uh, domestic epidemic, uh, China has uh, potentially become one of the biggest global suppliers of uh, COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, for low and middle income countries. Actually, both Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines uh, have been exported and uh, administered widely across the world. Uh, Sinopharm CMBG said it has provided more than 200 million doses and uh, more than 100 countries have already uh, agreed uh, contracts with them to uh, receive vaccines. And uh, Sinovac has delivered 300 million vaccine doses. Uh, 200 million doses have already been administered. That accounts for about one sixth of the world's total. And once get the go ahead, they can uh, be used by the international COVAX vaccine effort to fulfill uh, China's 10 million vaccine donation promise. Uh, the, the Sinovac uh, Sinopharm CNBG's chairman, uh, Yang Xiaoming, has promised to increase production to reach uh, an annual output of over 3 billion doses in the future to meet that demand. And the Sinovac uh, Biotech chairman, uh, Ying Weizhong, told us they, they are uh, working to increase the supply of at least 2 billion doses uh, this year. Back to you. Thank you very much. Our reporter Feng Yulei in Beijing. So the green light from the WHO indicates to national regulators that a vaccine is safe and effective. A COVID vaccine must be at least 50% effective to be considered. The producers also must continue to provide data to the health body. The jabs can now be included in COVAX, a global program that aims to ensure fair vaccine access among countries and regions. The Sinopharm vaccine differs from some of the other COVID vaccines currently in use. As we heard earlier, according to the WHO, the efficacy of Sinopharm's jab is almost 80% all age groups combined. It is the first inactivated virus vaccine to receive WHO approval. A key advantage is that it can be stored in a standard refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, while some other vaccines require ultra cold temperatures. So it's easier to store and transport. Good news for less developed countries indeed. And it's also the first vaccine that will carry what's called a vial monitor, a small sticker on the vaccine vial that changes color as the vaccine is exposed to heat, letting health workers know whether or not it's safe to use. Now, for more insight into the WHO approval, let's cross live to Professor Wu Zhiwei in Nanjing. So, Professor, let's start with the efficacy read, rate of the Sinopharm jab. Um, let's focus a little bit more on the efficacy among different age groups. Uh, what's your reading into the current uh, reports on clinical trials and public use? Well, the Sinopharm's vaccine uh, uh, clinical trial in the elder. Uh, that was still ongoing, so uh, we don't have an, uh, 
uh, complete the uh, data yet, but uh, uh, basically the, all the data available shows that it is safe in this group as well. So I, I think that actually is reflected in the WHO expert panel's opinion that this vaccine can be used for age uh, 59 and elder. So uh, I think this is very encouraging in the current situation when uh, the, the, the pandemic actually have a, a dramatic upsurge in India and the other Southeast countries that, that would desperately need the vaccine to, um, to prevent the spreading of the disease. Also, uh, Professor, I believe you've heard several times in recent days that the WHO and its chief are very much concerned about the imbalance on the distribution of vaccines around the world. It's actually a huge gap between uh, rich countries and the poor. Now with uh, this uh, new jab from uh, China added to the COVAX uh, program, do you think um, the global efforts can be improved a little bit? Uh, the, that, that actually, uh, I am pretty confident that uh, the Sun of Am's vaccine uh, getting into the COVAX program would do a lot of impact. Uh, the WHO the COVAX program actually aims to provide an equal accessibility of vaccines to those poor countries and the countries cannot afford uh, to the vaccines. Uh, the initial goal of this program is uh, uh, procure uh, 2 billion uh, doses in year 2021. But so far, they actually only achieved about 50 million uh, doses. I, I think that's a huge shortage of vaccine available to uh, poor countries. I think when the Sun of Farm joins the COVAX, I think this will be a, a tremendous help. China is one of the largest vaccine producers in the world. And the COVAX itself has a production capacity as well. So this is, uh, definitely would improve the situation. And Professor, looking at the current uh, situation in India and countries like uh, Japan, do you think the world is facing another wave of uh, infections from uh, COVID-19? And if that's the case, uh, vaccination, what's the role of a vaccination right now? Well, um, I, I, we all have seen uh, the, the surge in India. It's a pretty terrible event. Uh, you know, the country's uh, met, uh, the healthcare system basically is uh, completely overwhelmed. And uh, you see uh, the daily infection rates are going up and the death also going up. Uh, the worst is that uh, the, the pandemic also right now is spreading to other countries like Nepal and Bangladesh. Those countries actually uh, have the same problem as uh, uh, Indians that they have a relatively weak uh, health care system. Uh, I think this is something we actually um, have to be extremely careful. And uh, so the vaccine actually is a long run, long shot. You can't solve with the current health care uh, crisis. Uh, I think you have to combine the vaccine uh, vaccination and the uh, public health approach to control the spreading of the disease. Uh, when the Sun of Farms vaccine getting into the COVAX program, I think this is something, uh, you know, uh, would be a tremendous help uh, to the countries like in Southeast Asia. I think definitely we need to expedite the vaccination program and, uh, you know, in the long run, we, we should be able to control the, uh, the virus. Thank you very much. Professor Wu Zhuwei in Nanjing.